Greetings everybody, how are you doing today? The market has been volatile, which of course has been expected, especially from yesterday's FOMC statement as you can see. This came out at about 7 p.m. and expected the increase by 50 basis points, right? And of course they are trying to curb inflation, which is a general thing all over the world. So as we had this, if we cross over to the charts from yesterday, you would witness a lot of big moves across board for the majors and gold. As you can see, the big moves that came out from yesterday, right? And that's why you always need to pay attention to what's happening out there in the market based on scheduled news and of course also pay attention to the breaking news. Based on the breaking news, of course, we know the major breaking news that we've had has been the war in Ukraine. And of course, we're still waiting for uh, more updates on what's going on as no agreement has been made from the ongoing negotiations, right? Now, if we look at what we have uh, going into today for the pounds, if we cross back to the uh, calendar on Forest Factory, you see that the pounds have the monetary uh, uh, policy for today, the rate statement for today, and they're expected also to increase by 25 basis points, right? As a matter of fact, they have been increasing the, the hike, they have been hiking the rates for the past three months uh, for consecutively since so December, February, and March. Now in April, they are also bound to hike some more trying to curb this inflation and of course the big one coming out tomorrow for the uh, non-farm payroll the unemployment rate for the us the by 1 30 pm is going to be high on volatility so if you don't have anything in place you don't have any bias any directional bias in the market i would advise you to stay out and then come back and assess the market on Monday. What I would love to see, by the way, on the uh, popularly uh, traded, most traded currency pair, the Euro USD, would be a retest of 1.08 key uh, psychological round number, which happens to confluence with the 38.2 uh, Fibonacci retracement. And I would like to see a retracement of this place that, of course, has acted as support in the past, as we can see. And, of course, the seller should come into place and then short should take uh, effect and then push back down to the lows of this year at 1.0450 area. So this is what I would like to see on the Aero USD come tomorrow. But, of course, we need that big push to this area of uh, of uh, confluence on the fiber right so the best thing to do for now as i'd always say in terms of high volatility which is expected is to always be on the sideline as most times you would have even the spread would be increased as a thing of the market not a thing of the broker and then you would also have slippage right and of course you could also have uh uh, uh whip saws and a whole lot of other things could happen so the way best to protect your funds to protect your capital and then come back to trade uh and i'm sure also let me just state this before i round up because this is just a quick update on what has been happening in the market and of course a quick heads up at what is still going to happen today for the pounds and also tomorrow for the dollar uh, across the board for the majors and gold right what i want to state now is that some people some traders might probably be stuck in some trades where they didn't use any stop loss and of course they are holding on to major drawdowns if you're on in that uh, uh position if you're in on that boat reach out let's have a quick discussion and let's see what we can salvage before tomorrow because trust me it could even get worse tomorrow so that's all i have for you today just a quick update on what happened yesterday based on the FOMC statement as they increased uh, their rates by 50 points and of course tomorrow also we have the NFP so expect more volatility across board 
to ensure to trade according to your plan if no uh, uh, if no if nothing on the radar best thing is to be on the sideline so thank you everybody trade safely and reach out if you have, want to have any discussion if you are new to this section don't forget to smash the uh, like button uh, if this video has helped you out a bit of course with the warning coming out tomorrow and also for today as well and then of course if you're new hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you have any question comment below and i'll get back to you thank you and goodbye